portrayed as a homophobic sadist, with a cyber prankster impersonating Alf, turning normal scenes into ones too explicit to even show in their entirety. Right, eh, bucko? Got a few words. Now, you think you're gonna Gary and Summer Bay touch my and you got another thing coming, boy. If that's not enough, Ray has also had his identity virtually hijacked on the world's biggest social networking website, Facebook. A Facebook page using Ray's face to promote a rape dungeon. The page has almost 10,000 fans already. It's a big loophole. Um, and it's a loophole that really applies around the world. Celebrities don't stand a chance. Defamation lawyer John Paul Cashin from Kelly Hazel Quinn. There's posts on some of these websites which call people pedophiles without any seeming justification for it, um, accuse people of having you know, venereal diseases um, without any basis for it. If you were to publish that in Australia, you could be sued for defamation and, and possibly even shut down. This is totally unprovoked, totally has, he had nothing to do with any of it. He wasn't, he didn't shoot these scenes specifically to be, have the homophobic comics made. So it's taking it to the next level. It's hijacking these people 110%. Media commentator Peter Timms believes celebrities are easy and much sought after targets for online smear campaigns and identity theft. This is exactly what can happen when the internet is just open slather. There's nothing stopping you or I from just going on there, picking anyone. Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, you name it, and just having a go at them, setting up our own hate pages, all these sorts of things, exactly what they've done to poor Ray. And it's just, it's just uncontrollable and unpoliced, and I don't know what we can do about it. He's the most unlikely character to be targeted, isn't he? I think one of the reasons why they've picked on Ray is A, because he picked up the gold logie, but B, he's such a great, innocent person who we see as a father figure, who doesn't really harm anyone, and they've just decided to have a go, because it actually has a go at the core of Australian television, because he is one of the, the pillars of Australian television. Peter Fraser is from SR7, a website that sifts through the internet, alerting celebrities, companies, even governments, to sites that are destroying their name. It can absolutely damage a brand or a business online overnight. This is just taking it to a level that has never been seen before. I seriously cannot think of any celebrity or anyone who has been defamed or been put in this situation that Raymar has. It's absolutely disgusting what they've done to this guy and it's totally unnecessary.